Hello guys and welcome to a brand new guide on Sons of the Forest. Today we're going to be talking about health. As you can see I'm missing quite a bit already. Now we have got some medicine which we can access in our inventory by clicking on the meds. Uh, unfortunately these are quite difficult to find if you haven't done a lot of scavenging. So we're going to be talking about the other ways in which you can get health back in this. Um, as you can see, by eating, we've gained a little bit of health. And the more you eat, you can obviously fill in your health bar. However, that is not the only way. But before we talk about that, if you're wondering where you can find meds, you're going to want to be checking all of these little crates and anything that you find lying about. With a little bit of luck, you'll find some. However, it is rare. Thankfully though, even if you do end up empty-handed like we have here, there is still an easy way in which you can heal your health and that is going to require us to do some foraging. And we're going to find four different types of plants and I'm going to show you the perfect location to find all of them all at once so you can stock up on some health mixes. To find the location that we need, we're going to head towards this big lake. Uh, if we look on the map, you can see it's got several streams flowing into it before it decants into a small stream that heads to the main river going towards the sea. So once we get there, I'll show you what we're looking for. Now that we're exactly south of the lake, which is in the middle-ish of the island, we can search for the various ingredients. The first one we're looking for is this one. Now this is fireweed. It's easy to find because it's pink. And the second one, oh, <laughs> the second and third one are here. So the second one is horsetail which is quite easy to spot because it sticks out of the ground like this. And the third one is yarrow, which is this white plant here. These are all relatively abundant in this location, but we are missing one other ingredient, which is also in this location, which is the aloe vera. Aloe vera is one that's slightly more difficult to find, but I'll show you the best location that I've found for it in a moment where you can find quite a bit. Speaking of which, there is quite a bit here. There we go, we've got three. Is there any other around here? No. So now that we've got these ingredients, if we go to our crafting bench, we can see by clicking on the aloe vera here that if we hover over this, there are two health mixes available. The first one is using the uh, yarrow and that just uses aloe vera. You can make that. It's not going to be as effective, I believe, as the Health Mix Plus, but that is the, the first one there, and we can, can obviously eat that, and that's going to heal all of our health bar, as you can see in the bottom right now. The second one is the Health Mix Plus, and for this, you're going to want to combine the aloe vera with the fireweed and also the horsetail just down there. And once doing that, we will have the health mix plus. I'm not sure how much more health it recovers or if that's just a, another name for it, but there you go. Those are the two recipes for the health mix. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is where you can get a load of aloe vera because that's the ingredient that you're going to use the most and you want to keep this location down um, because I believe it will come back later on in the the seasons or perhaps in a few days time I'm not quite sure as to the growing seasons of this in this game so to find this locate the road to the south of the big lake I'll show you again just here there are two locations here three if you include the one by the lake that we just found. The first one is south of the road prior to it reaching the U-Bend. So you're just going slightly um, 
slightly down from that U bend, and you can see ooh, that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. Is that another one? No, that's horsetail. Ten aloe vera near here. Eleven even. Twelve. Goodness me, there's more than I thought. How did I miss all of these last time? And I believe there's some more if you just go a little bit further yeah, a little bit further south from here. So that is the second location. Now the third location is if we go back to the road and from here cross this ford, we're going to find ourselves along this road. Now you can already see plenty of horsetail here. And here we have some more aloe vera. There's tons of it. Now I presume, oh, we've got too much. I presume, though I haven't checked, if we look around this section of the uh, map, because it's got similar, it's all close to the river and also in the same area, we may find some more, but I will leave that for you to explore yourself. Oh, look here, some more. So if you're looking for somewhere to maybe build, this could be a perfect location. You've got a food source, a water source, um, plenty of resources for producing health uh, mixes as well, and plenty of trees. And it's well situated in the middle of the map. The only thing that you need to worry about, or I say the middle, at the south section of the middle of the map. Now, the only thing that I will mention about this is that we are close to lots of roads, which means there are probably going to be more cannibals around. So you may want to find a location away from the trail to reduce the amount of cannibals that uh, you come across. I'm sorry, Kelvin. So for the next section, I wanted to talk about healing companions. Now, generally speaking, if you knock them down, you have to pick them back up by holding E. I have found that sometimes, I'm sorry, you didn't like that, did you? Sometimes Kelvin gets knocked over and then you cannot heal him. And I have checked also with the healing medication that you cannot give it to him when he's down. And you'll also notice that if he is injured, you can't give him any health mixes or medication. So the only way that we have of medicating him at the moment is just to bring him up when he falls down. Another thing, it's been said that only we can permanently kill our companions. That is not true. Um, I found that Kelvin in my main playthrough was on the floor and I couldn't heal him. I couldn't bring him up, up using the E. And after three days, he died. So perhaps that was a bug, but I do recommend bringing up your, your companions as soon as you can in case they do end up just collapsing. But that's pretty much going to cover us for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more content on Sons of the Forest, make sure to subscribe as we've got plenty more planned in the next few days. And also, why not let me know what it is that you'd like to see in future videos on Sons of the Forest. I'm eager to hear what you have in mind. We are going to leave that video there, but if you're interested in knowing all things about building in Sons of the Forest, then do check out the video that I'll put in the top right now. Guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to all of our amazing supporters on Patreon, most notably our Solo Eclipse patrons, James Irwin, Fireflesh, Trebor, and our Lunars, the Calamity. Amity Ben, Star, Shoku the Emin Wolf, and that dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Chick Norris. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.